Okay, guys, welcome to the MICPC training. So today I'm going, to, I'm going to present uh, this question, prime criteria. Mm. Criteria is something like um, when you represent numbers with alphabets, like A equals to 1, B equals to 2, C equals to 3, vice versa. So for this question, uh, the first description is um, as follow. This criterion is a multiplication problem and the problem is expressed in this way. Um, if these asterisk uh, are represented by these sets of digits which is uh, which are prime numbers, then you will call this as prime criterion. So uh, for the question below, is the extra notes. So I will skip this part. And for this question, um, it demands you to provide uh, solutions for uh, cultural rhythms, which is like this. So the sample input is the first line, number of digits to be used, and the second line, number of um, n space which list the digits to be used to solve the algorithms. So uh, I will show the uh, working first. So okay. for the sample input the criteria only allows uh, two three four six eight these five digits to be shown in the asterisk which means for other numbers like one five seven nine they cannot exist in this criteria and your mission is to find the solutions to generate such criteria So first we need to generate a set of numbers to be tested. And then number one. And then number two. So um for these random numbers to satisfy the question they only can contain the listed digits provided by the input file. So for this partial product, it only can also contain uh, the digits provided, but not other digits uh, that wasn't included in the input file. So this is a partial product. And partial product 2 ok so after getting the partial product 1 we will check again whether the partial product contains uh, the number not in the given input file if yes then it is not satisfying the question if it's satisfied, then we will get the partial pro the second partial product, and we check again whether is is it satisfy the uh, digits given by the input file. So and finally, we will sum them up and get the result. We also need to check the result as well. But however, in some test case, even like if you get four digits of partial products. Then you only have to check the um, smallest three digits, which which you ignore the most significant digits. 
and so does partial product two. And for the result, if you get five digits, you only need to check the fourth less significant bits. And ignore the uh, largest significant bits. And here's the solution. First, we read the file. Then we read the number of to be uh, included in the Kragger reader. Then after reading the numbers into an array, and we generate possible outcomes of the numbers, which is this part. You generate then the numbers. You need to get all possibly all possible combinations to uh, get the number of solution. Then the pos possible uh, combinations are as follow. If given five digits, then the possible combina combination for the first random number is five times five times five, which is one to five. And for the second random number, five times five goes to twenty-five. If you are using array list, then you don't have to care about this. This is for uh, when you want to use array and. After generating possible combinations, then we will get the partial first partial product and the second partial product. After that, we check whether the partial products are acceptable or not, and finally we get the result. So if the results is acceptable for the whole credit reader, then we will add a counter to the total solution and in the end you write the number of possible solutions in a file. So this is the output result. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.